how has it been for you? Oh, I mean, because the two of us, for instance, have different backgrounds, mm. and every marriage has that situation. Yeah. So it's a compromised situation always. There will always be disagreements over how you want, you know, to discipline the child or how to impact the child in, in the situation, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it, it's um, as we all know, marriage is based on love. Yeah. The, the basic um, element of uh, uh, of Christ and uh, our own daily living is, is the love that God has for us and that which Jesus we have for our neighbors. So the, the concrete foundation of anything you do in either marriage or family rearing is love. And whatever hits uh, that, that foundation is bounced back up because love was waiting there. Mm. And there's got there's, there, there should not be any crack at all. You cannot afford for there to be any crack in the foundation called love. <clears throat> I mean, you have disagreements over how the child was properly disciplined or how what we need to do with this child in this situation. Mm. The only way you have four of them, <laughs> it, it just comes at you, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but the truth is that foundation is what. Yeah. Is what transmits there that at the end of day, here's a family that is based on love. Yeah. That and that's seen us through a lot because like you said, by the time you've been married for three decades, they will be married for four, five, six decades. Mm -hmm. But by the time you've been married for three decades, you've definitely had yeah. uh, ups and downs, mm -hmm. you know, either financially or with job or business, things that impact families, you know, and marriages. Uh, impact your finances and your ability to get things done and in the middle of this you need to raise these kids mm. so the only thing that the constant like i said and if you remember your math a little bit mm. when there is a constant everything else is variable yeah mm. you know yeah. but the, the k there is um is definitely the co is the concrete foundation of love that has to be there mm. and after a while, the love, yeah, it can be shown in, in form of a, a new pair of glasses or whatever. Mm. But the real love, <laughs> but, the, but the real, the real love is just that one that is basal. You know, yeah. it's a basal thing. Yeah, it's constantly there. It's but like sometimes you don't even see it. Yeah. sometimes it's not even expressed, but it's there at the bottom. I don't know if, if I hope I'm not being too ambiguous to what I'm saying. But that there's a concrete foundation that ha once you let that foundation crack, mm. then there's a problem. And what cracks foundations is when you bring third parties into marriages and yeah. stuff like that. Mm. The only third party that should be in any marriage is, is God. Yeah. He's the covenant you made. Mm. All the people that married you, the people that married us, virtually they're all dead now. Mm -hmm. Our uncles mm -hmm. and uh, pastors. Uh, People have married us in the Anglican church 30 yeah. years ago. Yeah. They, because they're aged and they've gone, you know. Yeah. So who could who's gonna come and tell me what they advised me on the day they were advising us about our marriages? Mm. They're gone. The only person that can tell us now is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So there should be no other intru intruder in your marriage. Mm. And by extension, when you're trying to raise your children, those are the, it's that base of thing. Let me keep it uh yeah. so. but Ojito said something, you said that. You were still feeling hot and he had brushed it off mm -hmm. and moved on and he was moving on about it so like um yes we women we kind of get emotional we hold on to things more than the men mm -hmm. and, and now it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything to him mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but because your our emotional makeups are different mm -hmm. the way he's going to carry it is different Something can happen, for instance, and if they look at his face, they won't see it. But if someone looks into your own if, into your own eyes and look at your face, they will like, oh my God, a bomb just dropped here. <laughs> Why is he looking like man? That man doesn't care. He doesn't. But you see, that's not the way. That's not because we are created differently. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the way we, we're going to carry it and go through 
-hmm. whatever we are going through is different. Mm -hmm. I'll make, uh, for example, you hit um, someone on the knee now, a man on the knee, he's going to scream around, God, my word would be, go and have a child and let me see. And then come back and yeah. tell me what pain. <laughs> <laughs> you understand you understand what i'm saying yes, yes. It, yes. it's like it's like that different like when you're going through something and then you look at him and it's like can't he see doesn't he know you know mm -hmm. but it's not that he doesn't care but it's just that he has processed it differently or he's still processing it and processing. Mm -hmm. he's able to hold back more than yeah you can yeah yeah Okay. If I may, so just this a little bit. <laughs> Too many yeah. nuggets in this thing, I'm mm -hmm. telling you. <laughs> so I think we already alluded to the fact that right now there's so much distraction. But one of the questions had to do with like challenges, right? So over the years, what have you seen to be like general challenges, right, in rearing children? So those of us who are coming behind you, what's something we need to be uh more aware of right in terms of being able to bring up children that are um you know how they say god doesn't have any grandchildren right so you're bringing up children that are secure in their own faith or their own walk with um their maker right so i think what 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 is what is something that you've seen that has shifted over the years and how do you think that we can uh we can Impressive. walk up to that challenge, right? We can we can live live up to the challenge. Oh. <laughs> remember, remember, um, not care. Yes, yes. Thirty three ten. Thirty three ten. Yes, not care. Thirty three ten. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I know we have the iPhone. <laughs> iPhone thirteen. <laughs> You see that there's a whole world of difference right there. Yeah. The world we live in today is, is a scary one. Mm -hmm. It's a scary one. And because of the technology and the exposure, the bombardment, you know, the things that you see on TV being advertised are things where we were younger wouldn't come onto TV until after 10 p.m. or or 12 midnight, but right now, everything is out there. Yeah. I mean, if your child asks you a question, you have to be ready to answer it, because if you don't- You know, Google it. It doesn't even need Google. It will just say, hey, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alexa. <laughs> oh, Alexa. And, of course, Siri and Alexa will tell them the story. Huh? They will Google it, they will find it out. Or God help you if they find somebody their age to explain it better to them than you <laughs> than you can. Mm -hmm. And then you are going down a path where... Mm -hmm. Explain is in quote, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are going down a path where there's going to be all kinds of rockies and problems. So the world has changed. And we as parents, we should never take it for granted. I mean, there was a, I think the discussion they had in church one day about and, and that um, the parents were too busy to attend children's functions in school. Mm, mm. And they're like, eh, he never came, he never came. And the child was very hot and, you know, and, because I know when my kids were growing up, the older ones bore the brunt of most of it. Mm. For the younger ones, we were more present. Mm. But those older ones, and sometimes they're like, ah, yeah, you never came to see me in school. You only came this. I'm, I'm like, really? And she said, oh, I was, yes, just, I, 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 was, I, was, I was just joking, you know? But I could see that mm -hmm. somehow inside there, there's mm -hmm. that pain. So and that hurts. So we have to understand those children mm -hmm. and not take them for granted mm -hmm. and then get in touch with their world. Don't stay, don't get out of the world they live in. Mm -hmm. Be part of it. Mm -hmm. Be part of their world. Whatever they're doing in their world, try and get involved and 
read about it, learn a little about it so that you don't get caught out because when they start speaking the language, you won't know what they're saying. Not Nari BYOB. I think <laughs> I used to think it was. Um... Oh, that's easy. Is that not bring your own bottle? <laughs> I thought it was be your own boss. And I was like, yes, be your own boss. <laughs> that's old school. Yeah. You know, bring your own bottle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not quite see this BYOB everywhere. What does it mean? Until one day I realized that. It was bring your own bottle. I said, yeah, I've been trying to figure it out. I couldn't understand what it meant. It actually means be your own boss. Too. Yeah, I know it means, it used to mean be your own boss, but, but now, it's, yeah, now, it, now it means bring your own bottle, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you see, <laughs> so, so that's, that's, that's how it is. Yeah. There's so much the kids are facing and we have to understand that they are being bombarded. Mm -hmm. You actually need to have compassion for them because those decisions they are taking, mm -hmm. some are taken under pressure mm -hmm. and you have to see it from their point of view, what is coming at them in their own world. It's not that they are, they are bad, but it's just what they've been exposed to and what they see and what they know. Let me add quickly so that we can, you can move on to the world, mm. wherever it might be next. Mm. <laughs> that raising four children has taught us one thing. They are all different, unique yeah. people. Yeah. Forget that they came out of the same two sets of DNA. They are completely different, all of them. And if you think that any two, uh, you know, from, because they're from the same world, no, mm. you missed it completely. Yeah. They are completely different individuals. So you are raising different people. Mm -hmm. Like I keep on saying about the constant. The only constant is love. Yeah. That's one thing that has to be resonating when you are raising them. And it goes to what she's saying. That maybe when the older ones were younger, we were still trying to settle the home, mm -hmm. you know, settle finances. Yeah you know, and have a, a steady trend. I always tell people that when you say you're married the first 10 years, you're not married at all. <laughs> Marriage starts maybe by the 11th year. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first 10 years, they're just rummaging around. <laughs> you're, trying, you're trying to set so many things up and they affect everything. Yeah. And you're trying to have the babies yeah. and bring them into the world and steady them. Yeah. So, you know, kids are unique. Mm. The only constant from... 30 years of knowing them now is that if you show love, it will follow through at some point. Mm -hmm. And if, if you don't show love because you're too busy mm -hmm. chasing a career or something, mm -hmm. it will also come back. Let me let you move on to the next thing. Yeah, okay. So the, the last one is we're going to combine faith and community, right? So your faith and your community has it played a part in your staying together, right? And has there ever been a time when that foundation was shaken? So both faith and community, we know you're a pastor, so there's no way that community is not, you know, huge for you. So just asking in terms of this marriage, right? How has faith and community uh, played a role? I mean, for community, we know you people, right? Through community, I was with Auntie Aya when we were doing the children's church many, many years ago. <laughs> Many, many years ago. And just like you're saying with the children, 30 years, I feel like I've known them too for so long, right? Because um, we're all in Sunday school together. But tell us how your faith and community have combined uh, to play a role in your marriage. And by community, we mean family, church, the people around you. Okay. I would like to talk first. And the reason is because I was the one who came into Christianity later. Yeah. When we married, I wasn't um, the Bible believing. I mean, I believe the Bible existed and all that, but I wasn't somebody who had um, accepted the Lord mm. uh, as, as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. So, yeah. and we know what the Bible says about that situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're given over to your reprobate mind. Mm. <laughs> so, at the beginning, that affected our kids in the first probably one or three years before I finally found the Lord at mm -hmm. that point in time. Yeah. And uh, because I didn't believe in the love of the stuff that was being said, I wanted Jesus to come and talk to me myself. 
<laughs> not only people coming to tell me that I was accepting. No, I want him to, and of course, later on, he expressed that he actually spoke to me to go in my life. But <clears throat> having said that, yes, uh, once Jesus came in, it became a different ball game. Mm. Why? Because now there was a catch up to do, catch up in the sense that there was an eagerness for me to learn a lot about, mm. about Christ, you know. And uh, at that time, also, we had some shakings in our career and business mm -hmm. and finances and all that. So <clears throat> it was very important to hold on to the Lord, to, you know, as a basis. And that threw up all kinds of um, situations where our, our faith was constantly tested for years. When I say constantly tested, I mean real tests. Mm. One thing I will say is that there was not one time, even in the newer Christian in the marriage, there was not one time where we went through all those things where Jesus was <laughs> considered to be something that could be put aside. Mm. No, mm. <laughs> not once. Not once when we lost fortunes. Mm. Not once. Not, not once when, I mean, all kinds of things happened to us. Yeah. Not once when friends uh, deceived us and all kinds of things. Mm. You know, there was not one time that that happened. In fact, what happened was that we went deeper mm. <laughs> and said that if there's anybody that can help us out of this, is this God that we're serving mm. and we want to serve him even more. That was a good thing about it. And that, like you said, that, the fact that we were growing in faith and knowledge of the things of the Lord helped us to be able to impact a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people, even till today. Yeah. There are people, I, I went um, to Nigeria recently and I was still meeting people who were telling me what I had done for them 20 years ago in the faith and how it had helped them to hold on mm -hmm. to Christ. And now they were even more solid in Christ, mm -hmm. you know. And um, happily, the beginning of our faith journey mm -hmm. was in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. That's where I gave my life to Jesus. That's where I, my wife was when I met her. And um, I can say that our upbringing in the Redeemed Christian Church of God was, was pretty solid. Mm -hmm. We had some down to earth teachers, <laughs> people who took no nonsense, extremely disciplined ministers of the school and Christians. Mm. Some of whom I still, uh, I, I've been out of touch with one until about uh, three weeks ago yeah. and connected with him. And that was all I could remember of him. And I kept on telling him that, sir, thank God for people like you when I was starting out with Christ. Mm. You know, so the, the yeah, to, to, uh, uh, focus on the question mm. faith and community has been a rallying point for our family and for our marriage mm. that it has, that's what it's been mm. and sometimes we deviate in agreement in the marriage and things we want to do or how we want to, the course we want the family to take or you know but like i said we've never wavered from the fact that jesus christ is lord and savior and that he's the only help. We still said it today mm. that we don't have it. The only friend we know we have that has not deceived us or had a fight with us is Jesus. Mm. He's the only one you can embrace at any time. Mm. <laughs> and I don't know who might be watching this, but you might not be a Christian and you'll be wondering what are they talking about. I was a hardcore, <laughs> total unbeliever. <laughs> oh yes, but when Jesus came, came it made all the difference. Mm. Today, I thank God that because I have friends who are in the world, some of them have died, some of them have become very materially uh, wealthy, but they don't have Jesus. The only thing that matters, if you want a happy marriage, if you can still hold your wife like I'm holding my wife now and laugh <laughs> freely because that's the way we feel. <clears throat> is is truthfully to have is to have Jesus, yeah. and that's that's what it is. Anyone? Yeah, um, as a faith, faith is a strong thing. 
um, and we need to understand that faith is real mm. because it's easy to speak about faith. I believe, I believe, but when, <laughs> when the stuff really hits you, everything called faith flies into the air. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I mean, I'm, I'm really. I'm looking at both of you and I'm thinking, oh my God, like if only, like, I mean, we were witness to one of the, you know, recent um, tests. And I just, like, <laughs> <laughs> just go ahead. Which one? Which one of the tests? Because they're, they're <laughs> too many. Too many like, are, which one? The which house gets the house burned down. The house. Okay. This house. Okay. Is okay. The house when the house burned down. In this that, house. that one. Uh -uh. Yeah. yeah. It's a testimony. I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you kidding? Like, you're telling me this just like, you know, like, okay, this is just <laughs> another day in the life of. <laughs> okay, so just for context, just so our viewers know that yeah. the house burnt down. Yeah. And all the cars, yeah. there was nothing, right? Like, mm. yeah. But no loss of life. And God, grandpa know. was, yeah, no, yeah, so, a real I testimony. Mean, so we, we bless God on your behalf. Like, so just hearing you, I'm like, you know, sometimes when people say this, Someone who's hearing you may say, oh, they're just saying it, but someone who has sat with you or walked with, not walked with you, but seen, mm -hmm. you know, you walking and knowing but that. I said the same rebuilt. Yep. Yeah. The glory yeah. of God. Yeah. I mean, you know, actual witnesses to that. So you saw before and after. Before mm -hmm. and after. <laughs> you saw before, during, and after. And after. <laughs> so yeah, you know, so we, we really but, appreciate what you're saying, right? Sometimes I feel like, for all our complaints to we're uh, like <laughs> God has been good to yeah. us. So, you know, in that sense, in yeah. the sense that um yeah, yeah. just he teaching has not us tried yeah. you beyond what you can, can bear. bear. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. is what he says and it's very true. Yeah. And in, inside that situation, he'll mm -hmm. make a way of escape. First yeah. Corinthians 10. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 13. He always does. Mm -hmm. I've seen how I mean you're still you're still talking. No, no. Okay. Um, if there's anything I know, and I'll tell any human being, is the faithfulness of our Lord, mm. is the faithfulness of our God, in every way and every manner, in every mm. trial, in every situation, where you see the end of it, you'll be like, wow. Yeah. So make them fact there. Is it hell situation? Is it... um? birthing the children is it um growing the children mm. <clears throat> is it when the lord uh, set us free from many years of building us up for for later ministry mm. that every time he's always come true yeah. i will say that so many times maybe 10 million times if i have to that if there's one thing you don't have jesus you want to know about is that Jesus is faithful. Who is this Jesus? I can't see him. You can't do this. You can't do that. Well, I'm telling you in a solid manner, in the things of the spirit and in the material, if you're that person, that he tries. You're looking at us with uh, extended abdomens and all that now, which might, not be, <laughs> which might not be very healthy as you're getting older. But I'm just trying to tell you that in every situation, mm. every situation, he has been yeah. faithful. He's been faithful. Yeah. That's, that's who our Lord is. Yeah. I tell people to try, I tell my friends who are still in the world. I still saw a few of them uh, about yeah. when I was in uh, Nigeria. <laughs> and we were all partying together. And then I had to go and minister somewhere in the morning. I said, Where are you going? They tried to make me drink things that uh, had different contents. And then I'm like, No. That was in the past, you know. These things are gone, mm. and I couldn't believe because I used to be the the uh, what do you call it the party really? <laughs> life of the party, and they, they were all looking at me like, "Are you serious? Mm. You won't even have a little wine?" And I'm like, "No, it's just not a uh, it's, not today. it's just <laughs> not like that anymore." You know, I'm preaching in the morning, and if I wasn't preaching in the morning, it's just nothing. What I'm just trying to say is that the Lord transforms you totally, yeah, and and then He. He builds you for the community that he's going to put you in. I love be it global or be it uh, 
yeah. the church setting, mm -hmm. you know, or yeah. Yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. So, yeah. So your, your, faith, your faith will be tried, so be ready for it and just pray yeah. for the grace to go through it. And the community is also very important. Like you yeah. said, the children's church, we had our great moments, we had our, <laughs> we had our fighting moments, but tell me, you know what happened after all that? We yeah. all came out very, very strong. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and when we look at that department today, it's amazing to see what the Lord has done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because that community is we we all came together like yeah. we were one. Yeah, I agree. And I always say, you know, when people ask me, I said, like <laughs> the children is where you can do the work, right? Sometimes the adults are old. <laughs> they're, they're, they're formed in their ways. And, and now we see them graduating. Yeah, graduating. Getting married. Yeah. Getting married. Getting married. Yeah. Yep. Is it yeah. that same boy? That one that gave me so much stress, you know? <laughs> that one that like almost taught this department down. But you know what? Mm -hmm. God is and and some of them are at Tesla or is it uh, SpaceX? <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are everywhere. We just give God glory. Amen, you know? amen. <laughs> so whatever community the Lord has placed you in, try to find your place in it. Ooh. Try to find your place. I love it. That's a, that's a tweetable you one. Have, you think. have to yeah. find your place because there is something in there for you and there is something in there for that community. And if you all do your part, everything will work out together for, good yeah. for everyone. All things work together for good for those that trust God. Just mm -hmm. believe it. Even when it looks like everything around you is falling apart in that community, still look deeper. Mm -hmm. Look deeper. The Lord will help us. Amen. That, that was a wonderful place to, yeah. <laughs> to just wrap this up. I feel like, ah, Anyway, you would know it's because it's this thing. No? That's why we are wrapping it up like this. Because you know, when we come to your house, it's hours and hours of, of conversation. Of yeah, but thank you for uh, gracing this occasion for us. Normally, we wrap up with asking if you have any questions, questions for, for us. us. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess I, I, I don't really. I just. I just want to say that what you're doing is very commendable. I know it's probably by the leading of the Holy Spirit. I'm sure that is going to reach very far. You know, and I, one thing that you're doing right now is that you're actually making even me and my own spouse closer. You know, because when we're looking at the questions, we have to think and look at them. Oh my God, I'm going to this, and, you know, and we have to, I mean, I'm sure you people are your medical personnel, so you probably put some tricks into the questions too. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, that's okay, let's help them heal their, yeah. their edges too. You know, but like I said, it's pretty commendable and I thank God for what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you. My prayer is that the Lord will continue to uphold what you're doing thank and you. that the Lord will shield you and your family from every reaction from the enemy because of the good you're doing. Yes. Amen. 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 And we love you guys. Yes. Yeah. We love you. We are, we, are, we are part of our family and we always look forward so much to your coming. I hear yes. that call. We're coming. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And